It's easy to fall into the trap of comparing the Quest 3 with the Vision Pro. Other YouTube channels, even Mark Zuckerberg himself, compare the features of these two side by side. I don't just think that Quest is the better value. I think the Quest is the better product, period. But comparing the Vision Pro to the Quest 3, it's a bit like comparing sports car to a truck. Yes, they're both vehicles, but they're mostly used for different things. And in this analogy, Vision Pro is a truck. A good looking one. The Oculus 3 is a great gaming VR product. It's like an entry-level sport car. It's affordable, it's light, and it lets you have fun with your friends. The Oculus Store is full of exciting standalone VR titles like Assassin's Creed Nexus or the Ars Guts Wrath, as well as many other VR social experiences such as Rec Room or VR Chat. And if you ever want to experience higher-end VR gaming, you can simply connect it to your gaming computer and play graphically demanding titles. I personally really enjoyed my time in Half-Life Alex, Super Hot VR, and Star Wars Squadrons. Lastly, on the tech side of things, is just as impressive. It comes with great 2K by 2K displays and a very capable Snapdragon XR2 chip. For a super light device that offers up to two hours of battery life, it packs a ton of performance and features such as hand tracking, decent quality pass-through, and spatial audio. And yes, while you can technically use the Quest 3 for some productivity, the second you actually try, you quickly get the feeling that it wasn't really meant for it. It lacks many of the apps you would need to get your work done, it doesn't sync well with your computer, and the lower display resolution means reading text gets tiring fairly quickly. The Vision Pro, on the other hand, shines when it comes to productivity. Just like the Tesla semi-truck, it's silent, sleek, expensive, and it gets the work done. It's the ultimate multitasking productivity device on the go. First, it connects to your Mac seamlessly, allowing you to work on a massive display. You can then open multiple Vision Pro apps and place them around your workplace. It basically allows you to bring your ultimate office setup anywhere you go. And that's how I use the headset 80% of the time. Second, you can use both your trackpad and keyboard and your hands to control the Vision Pro apps, whichever works best for you. This transition is perfectly seamless and instant. There hasn't been a more intuitive XR productivity setup. Lastly, since it's compatible with iPadOS, it comes with most of the productivity applications you would need to get your work done. It even supports some of the more professional and demanding tools such as DaVinci Resolve. With that said, I was really determined to render this video on the Vision Pro, but didn't get too far mostly due to the file sharing situation. Both Dropbox and Google Drive aren't supported, and there isn't a simple way to connect your headset to your computer, without a $300 developer strap, that is. And yes, while you can technically play games on Vision OS, just like with productivity on the Quest 3, you're immediately reminded that it wasn't really meant for it. There is a handful of Vision OS native games, such as Fruit Ninja of Sync Riders, and while they're visually impressive, they have a significant input delay and can be laggy at times. With all fairness, Apple did not advertise the product as a gaming machine, and for the time being, it just isn't one. In conclusion, both the Quest 3 and Vision Pro are great products for their particular use case. I don't think they compete as much as they complement each other. I never had to choose between picking up my Quest 3 versus picking up the Vision Pro. If I want to work, I usually choose between my home office setup with my external monitor versus working in the Vision Pro. And if I'm planning a gaming session, I usually have to choose between gaming on my gaming PC or doing VR gaming on the Quest 3. And yes, I know, the Vision Pro is 7 times more expensive than the Quest 3. And to determine whether it's worth your money, you must really ask yourself how much is mobile productivity worth to you. If you work from office, never travel, or have a great home office setup, it might not be the right product for you. But if you're like me, working remotely and would like to bring your productivity setup anywhere you go, it could be worth your investment. Thank you for watching and catch you in the next one.